Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. In today's video, we are going to learn about validation rule for phone number 3. So before that, here we would like to inform you that we have recently launched a Salesforce course specially for a Salesforce administrator. And even if you are a beginner, then you will easily understand the topics and the content of the course and also a limited time offer of 50% discount for the early birds. And you will get the lifetime access of the course and you can buy this course through the link that we are mentioned in the description box. This Salesforce admin training course is from the beginner to advanced level and also have a 9 plus modules with the real business scenarios and have a 21 plus hour of HD videos and we also provide course material like PDFs and solution and one to one doubt clear and interview preparation session also and also give us certification of completion and provide internship and the placement opportunity so you can subscribe this course and learn a lot about the Salesforce admin part so let's move to our topic. This is my Salesforce Lightning Work and here we are going to learn about the validation rule for phone number field. So for this, we firstly click on the gear icon and then click on the setup. Our setup page is open. Now we select the object manager and then enter the contact in the search box and then select the contact object. Our contact page is open. On the left side, there is a detail section present and we scroll to the bottom of this section. And here we go, we can see there is a validation rule option present. Click on this validation rules. Our validation rule page is open. Here we can see only one validation rule is created, but we want to create a new one. So we click on the new button. Our contact validation rule page is open. Now enter the information related to the validation rule. Firstly fill the rule name and here we are giving the rule name as phone validation rule. Then activate the active checkbox and if you want to give the description then enter the description otherwise leave the description box as it is. Now scroll to the bottom. And here we can see there is an error condition formula section. Enter the formula inside this section. And here we are entering the formula as is blank. And uh, in the argument we choose the phone field. Now we check the syntax. So click on the check syntax button. And then scroll to the bottom. Here we go. We can see no error found. This formula show if our phone number field is blank. Then it pop up the error message. So now scroll to the bottom. And here we see there is an error message section. Now enter the error message inside the error message field. And here we are giving the error message as phone number is not blank. After entering the error message, now choose the error location. Here are two options. Top of the page and the field. But we choose this top of the page. We see our error message pop up at the top. So that's why we choose this option top of the page and then click on the save button. Our contact validation rule is created successfully. Here we go. We can see the rule name, phone, num phone validation rule. Then uh, see the error condition formula and also see the error message. Now, Click on the app launcher and enter the contact in the search box. Select the contacts. Our contact record page is open. Now create the new record. So we click on the new button. We fill the name of the contact and we leave the phone number field blank and hit the save button. You can see uh, error message is shown. Phone number is required. This shows the validation rule is applied on the phone number field. When we enter the phone number inside this field and then hit the save button. Here we go. Our contact Mr. John William was created successfully. Now we want to learn 10 digit phone number validation rule in Salesforce. Now move ahead. 
Now we again click on the gear icon and select the setup option. And click on the object manager and we again search the contact object in the search box and select the validation rule. And again select the phone validation rule that we are uh, created. Select this. Now we want to edit this rule because uh, we want 10 digit validation rule is applied on the phone field. So for that we scroll to the bottom. And now we enter the array condition formula as a length is a length of a phone number is equal to 10 digit. Now we choose the length function and then click on the insert selected function and inside this we add the field as a phone. Choose the phone from this list and here is the phone. And then click on the insert and uh, then select the operator. And here we select not equal operator and then enter 10 digit and then check the syntax. And here we go, no error form. This means our formula is correct. Now scroll to the bottom and here we change the error message as a phone must contain 10 digit. After entering the error message formula, now choose the error location and we want this top of the page. So we select this and then hit the save button. Now you can see our contact validation rule is successfully edited and our error condition formula is changed to this and our error message is this. Now again click on the app launcher and enter the contact. Select the contacts object. Our contact record page is open. Now we click on this record that we are already created and uh, click on the details. Now this time I remove this phone and then hit the save button. And you can see our error messages and you can see the error messages shown. Phone number must contain 10 digit. Now we enter the phone number and we enter less than 10 digit and hit the save button and again error messages pop up phone must contain 10 digit now enter the exact 10 digit number and then hit the save button and here we go our contact is saved successfully so with this we have learned Validation rule for phone number field in Salesforce. So if this video was helpful, click on the like button and also subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos. Like this one. Thanking you for watching. Have a great day.